Hey guys, and welcome to an episode of Movie Talk. It has been a while since I did Movie Talk. I mean, a long, long time. I apologize for that. I really do. But we're getting back into the Movie Talks. What? This might be a little bit late today because I'm filming it on a Friday, an actual Friday filming. What? On the day it's supposed to be out? No bueno. But, you know what? I decided to get it out to you guys. I had a lot of stuff this week, and yeah. So, let's get into it. We're talking about X-Men... Um, is it X-Men Apocalypse? Is it... Yes, X-Men Apocalypse. So, I know you guys have already seen the pictures, but, you know, the one that really was chafing my my ass and a bunch of you guys would agree with me, my fellow nerds out there, my fellow comic book people out there, my lovers of X-Men lore, Apocalypse... Does not look like Apocalypse. Looks like Ivan Ooze's son. What is that? Why? Why would you do that? Why? Create a bastard son of Ivan Ooze. That's just terrible. Terrible. But I must say, Olivia Munn looks amazing as Psylocke. You can't, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, how will she do in the movie? I don't know. The first time I ever saw Olivia Munn was on Attack the Show. And that was a pretty cool show. She had great comedic timing. Now, I've seen her do some other, you know, live action movies and stuff like that. Can she do an action movie? We're going to have to wait and see. Can she pull it off? We'll have to wait and see. She is going to be in um, Ride Along 2. <sighs> We're going to have to wait and see how she does in that as well. So, I mean, the X movie is going to be totally different from a cop movie. It's going to be more action and all that. She looks amazing in her costume. Don't get me wrong. Definitely looks amazing. But I really don't understand how that, that works. That's... That, I guess they, they, yeah, that hurts right here. Right here, it hurts. What what, what are they thinking? Um, I'm, a, I'm with a bunch of you guys out there saying, give it up, throw in the towel, give the rights back to Marvel, let them run with it, and give them back Fantastic Four while you're at it, and let them run with it and give us great films that we deserve. We, us, the comic fans of it, not the people who've seen the movies and loved it because they don't know the lore of it like we do, and are like disappointed the way these characters are being treated. And I just feel like they totally just re misrepresented uh, Apocalypse in the pictures and stuff like that. And I feel the movie's gonna be total garbage. That's my opinion. Uh, you all have your own opinion as well. But, as we've seen in the X-Men movies, there's this, uh, you can see in the decline of the films on, of how they're basically, it looks like they're just getting the characters and just changing everything and keeping what they want and just changing things around the way they want it to fit and fix their mistakes. That's not how you do it, guys. That's really not how you do it. I, I think you guys should definitely rethink about what you guys are actually trying to pull off here because if you're trying to pull off something cool and amazing you're not doing it you're really not but I think that the movie could definitely you know do a good job maybe I don't know I really don't know I'm not going to go see it at all I really think that this movie is going to be just another another sad movie The everybody loved the days of future past um, a lot of people liked the first class. I didn't like any of those. I liked X-Men 1 and 2. The third one was garbage. It was, it was bad. It was bad. Um, but the first two I liked. I didn't like them because there's certain things that they had there. But as, but as far as when it came out. By the time when it came out. I was like this is the, this is the best we're going to get. You know hey. I mean I didn't. If I had known that Marvel was going to do their own movies. And have their own studio. I am like dude this is going to be terrible. But since I had no idea at the time. I was like well. This is the best we've got, and this is the best we're going to get. And, boy, was I wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. But all in all, I think, you know, the pictures of uh, Psylocke, you know, in the movies, all that. And how closely do you think this is going to follow the the comic version? I, with any indication that the other the Days of Future Past has, not closely at all. They're to I don't know if they're going to follow the whole... Uh, the whole virus, the whole mutant virus, and people dying off because of the virus and all that stuff like that. If they do, that'd be kind of cool, but I highly doubt it. 
I think that it's just gonna be a total. It's gonna be totally different from the comics. The animated series is one of the best ones ever. I mean, look at Apocalypse. In, yeah, the scene right here. That right there was pretty cool. I I I I really don't understand why you would want to change certain things like that. The appearance one, I really don't understand. Are and another thing that's gonna that kind of has me worried. Are they gonna make them get bigger or stuff like that? What are they? What are they keeping of Apocalypse? Because we know that keeping his look, because they changed that completely. The other thing I'm kind of worried about is is this the end and how are they going to finally how are they going to end the whole series? Because as far as everything goes, it looks like it's going to be pretty bad. Uh, I liked how they had Storm, how she how she looks. She was pretty cool. Look, look at look, look. She looks cool. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love the way they had, have her uh, look with the mohawk and everything like that. Not bad, not bad at all, right? So. As far as it goes, this looks like, it, you know, they have a lot of cool things that they took it from the comics. But a lot of things they are totally changing. Brian Singer, I'm pointing my finger at you and saying, what were you thinking? And how dare you do that to Apocalypse? For somebody who says they are a fan of the comics and love the X-Men franchise, why would you do that? Why? What is the reason you would do that? I would love to hear that. I haven't done any more research on it. I sh should be checking them up on next week. But you know what? That's what I have for right now, and I'm highly disappointed. Did not like that at all. But let me know what you guys thought of that. Hit uh, hit the like button. Hit that dislike button. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Remember, leave a comment below, and just let out your frustrations. Or if you want to, you know, go at it and say, "Hey, I think you're wrong. I think these movies are amazing." Go ahead. I take your criticism in hand. But if you get out of hand, I will, you know, I will respond back in kind. But just remember, I welcome your criticism. So go ahead and tell me what you guys saw of these series and tell me if I'm wrong. Let's see what you guys got. All right, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.